What is going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, y'all know what I need y'all to do. Be sure to smash that like button, share it with your people. Definitely watch the video to the end. Let's get right into it. Being a teenager is hard, especially if you are coming from certain environments. With peer pressure from people around you or school, it sometimes leads to young adults rebelling, trying to find their identity and way in life. More than likely, people become products of their environments and do exactly what they see others doing around them. Even if they come from a good home, once the streets grab you, it only offers one or two things, prison or the grave. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we will be taking it to Indianapolis, Indiana, to discuss two young people, a female and male, that allegedly went on a crime spree that terrorized the community. At the time, 16-year-old Zion Smith and 18-year-old Jaquisha Love decided to go make some moves to get a few dollars on the east side of their city. The two would go out on the late night hours on July 19th, 2016. Things would get crazy when police were called around midnight to the 3300 block of Robson Street where they allegedly found two victims in a Kia Rio suffering from shots. The male victim and driver, then 18 years old, was gone on the scene and the passenger, a young lady, was critical but would fortunately survive. Crime scene investigators on the scene found shell casings to a 22 and 40 cal. While still on the scene, investigators got a hit. Police was approached by a young woman who said she was robbed earlier and she knew who did it, Zion and Jaquisha. The young lady proceeded to tell police Zion demanded she give him her blicky. And when she refused, he let off shots at her with a bullet passed through her jacket and shirt but fortunately, she didn't get hit. But it wouldn't stop there. Three hours later, police were called to another situation on the 1400 block of North Wireless Avenue to a report of a person hit. Once officers arrived, they found the man with a wound to the stomach laying in the living room on the floor and two other victims as well. They all was transported to the local hospital and told police they received a knock on the door from Zion and Miss Love. Once they opened the door, the young man just started blicking off, but one of the victims was able to fire back and Zion allegedly dropped his blick at the scene. Police found four blickies, one that was reported stolen two days earlier. Within 45 minutes, surprisingly, police received another call. This time someone reporting a person hit in the 4,000 block of East 12th Street. As police arrived, they discovered a young man hit in the eye who was also with a young lady at the time. The man stated his name was Zion Carey, but based on witnesses and their accounts, authorities knew it was Zion Smith and Miss Love. The two were arrested and charged with the hit, the attempts, and robberies. With fingerprints on the scene and ballistics matching up, the crime spree was over. Prosecutors painted a picture of the two as going on a senseless spree for three and a half hours just to make a few dollars. Both Zion and Ms. Love was found guilty of the charges. She was sentenced to 130 years in prison, and Zion was sentenced to 145 years. The game was all over. More of this story, fast money will always get you fast time. The two were young, so young they even called the police after Zion was hit, basically telling on themselves. I'm not sure why they went so hard that night, but it took both of them out the free world forever and even not being old enough to enjoy life. We all make mistakes, but some decisions you can't come back from. So remember, we gotta succeed not to fail, so we won't be just another hood tale. Man, that's a crazy story, you feel me? First and foremost, rest in peace, the young man that lost his life. You know what I mean? He was only 18 years old. Now, I don't know what was up with these two. Like, they ain't say why they did it. I'm thinking they was trying to just get some money. You feel me? get some fast cash, but the way they was going about it, it really don't make sense because allegedly after they did the hit, earlier that day, they robbed a young lady for her blick or tried to get her blick and when she wouldn't give it to them, they fired off shots. So I don't know if they was trying to take whatever they needed, like maybe they were just trying to take blickies and sell them because at the other home that they allegedly knocked on the door at, you feel me, after they shot and hit all them people, which Zion was shot as well. 
they allegedly, police allegedly found four blickies at that house too. So maybe they were just trying to go to places they knew that had weapons so they could take them and sell them. That's what it seemed like to me, but it was senseless. And then when Shorty got hit, when Zion got hit, you feel me, they panicked because he was hit in the eye, you feel me? That's close to your head, you feel me? He probably didn't think he was gonna make it, but it looked like he was grazed. It don't look like he really was, you know what I mean? Like hurt super bad, but he probably ain't know he probably was scared. But it's crazy because they were so young and the young lady that was with him, you feel me? Like, I don't know if she was a little older, they say, so I don't know if, if it was her idea or his idea, but either way, they ain't get charged as juveniles because once you do something that serious, what they do, they gonna hold you in pretrial. They gonna keep pushing it back. I went through the same thing myself. If you get locked up at 17, trust, they ain't gonna try to sentence you till you 18. They ain't gonna make no chance of letting you go back down to a juvenile, especially when it's serious. So they gonna hold you, especially for a body for two, three years. By that time they grown, they can give them the kind of time they wanna give them. So basically they threw their life away for really nothing. You know what I mean? It's a sad story. It's happening all over the world, all over the country. Young kids just out here doing stuff, just wilding, you feel me, thinking that's the way. But then when they get caught up and get in that system, 10, 15 years go by, then they realize like, man, I ain't never coming home. Then it dawn on them, then it's too late. You feel me? Some states take it easy on younger people and you might go do a little bit of time, then if they feel like you rehabilitated, they'll send you home. But some states, they don't care, you feel me? They feel like if you had enough sense to do that and take somebody's life, then you going to prison forever, you feel me? And the young man that was in the car with the lady who got hit, it's like, man, I don't know if they was just trying to take the car from them or what they was trying to do, but Shorty basically lost his life to some BS, you know what I mean? To something that ain't even had to go down. But yeah, man, it's a messed up story, you feel me? On a lot of different angles, you know what I mean? But that's how it be, man. Y'all already know. It's the world we live in. Stuff crazy just happened back in 2016. I think they got sentenced in like 2018 or something like that. But man, messed up situation. Sad situation for everybody involved. But y'all already know, man. It's another episode of Hood Tales. Be sure to like. Definitely like, man. I appreciate you if you watched it to the end. I love y'all, fam. This your boy Tony two times. I'm out.